Out to Baker now. Little hitch kick from Michaela Blyde. Exhausting stuff to New Zealand just breaking this defense. Michaela Blyde is arguably one of the most exciting athletes on the Black Ferns Sevens team. Her pace is unmatched and her ability to break tackles is impressive. She is a significant figurehead of the sport of rugby in New Zealand, known for her encouragement and fortitude in both sevens. Born on the 29th of December 1995 with athletic prowess running deep in her veins. She was born into a rugby family. She started following in her mother's footsteps while at New Plymouth Girls High School. Her younger brother, Liam Blyde, also excels in rugby. He plays rugby as a developmental trialist for New Zealand's men's sevens team. Michaela Blyde became a key player in New Zealand's Seven success story. She continues to show creativity and agility on the field since she made her debut in 2013, aged 17 years old. She is incredibly fast. She attained speeds of 20 miles per hour during the 2017 Dubai Sevens. Michaela has had many remarkable feats on the pitch since then, but here are Blyde's top five moments on the World Rugby Women's Seven series that will remain etched in most fans' memories. Number 5. 2013 New Zealand debut in the Oceania Women's Sevens Championship The year 2013 will probably remain a memorable year for Michaela Blyde. From starting her rugby career in the Oceania Women's Sevens Championship to now being a top-ranked rugby player with several accolades under her belt, not many would have predicted that. Her ability to change her momentum mid-stride has led to some remarkable tries for her team. But, that began in 2013 when Michaela was included in the squad for the first time after impressing selectors during training sessions. At 17 years old, she became the youngest player ever to play at this level, but lived up to expectations with a strong performance. This would be the first step towards a memorable journey that has seen Blyde become one of the most recognizable faces on the women's seven circuit. Blyde's ability to break tackles and nimbleness to score or create tries is unmatched in sevens. During the 2013 Oceania Women's Sevens Championship, she scored a try against Papua New Guinea and went on to score more throughout the tournament. She scored five tries on the second day of the tournament to help New Zealand trash Samoa 47-5. She ended on the score sheet as the second leading point scorer after day two and leading try scorer after day two. She had scored nine tries and a total of 45 points by the second day. New Zealand went on to finish third place in the tournament but the then 17-year-old scrum queen left an indelible mark on the international rugby scene. She became such an asset that by her second season in 2014, she was voted team vice-captain of the New Zealand side. Number 4. 2016-17 Top Try and Point Scorer in the World Series In the fifth edition of the World Rugby Women's 7 Series 2016-17 and 17 season, Michaela Blyde broke a significant World 7 Series record. She has been a prolific point scorer for New Zealand throughout her career and she continued that in the 2016-2017 season. Blyde's try scoring ability has been a crucial part of New Zealand's seven success since her debut. In 2016-17 she continued from where she had left off and emerged the top scorer in the World Series. Blyde's top performance in the tournament saw her named DHL Impact Player of the Series. Currently, her all-time 7 series stats are 680 points and 136 tries. Number 3. 2017 World Rugby Women's Sevens Player of the Year The World Rugby Women's Sevens Player of the Year award has always been won by a New Zealand player since the inception of the award in 2013. 2017 was no different. Blyde's impact in the 2016-17 season saw her become one of the standout players in the world and eventually led to an honour that is only bestowed on Sevens Rugby players once every four years, winning the 2017 World Rugby Women's Sevens Player of the Year. The accolade recognised Blyde's crucial role in New Zealand's success. This stamped her as a player to watch out for in the future, as well as recognising her contribution to Sevens Rugby. Number 2. 2018 World Rugby Women's Sevens Player of the Year Michaela Blyde was named World Rugby Women's Sevens Player of the Year for 2018. She received her award at the Sala de Atoy in Monte Carlo, flanked by teammate Sarah Goss. She became only the second player to win back-to-back -back awards after Canada's Jen Kish. The award honors performance in all aspects of rugby, on and off the field. 
She was nominated for the award alongside her Black Fern Sevens teammates Sarah Goss and Portia Woodman. She was quoted saying this at the awards. Every year I set a goal for myself just to improve myself, just to make every tournament team. To improve myself as a rugby player and that's my goal for this year as well. Bly did not only manage to produce top performances throughout the 2018-19 Women's World Series, but she has also managed to put her best foot forward in other aspects of rugby. She is an integral member of New Zealand Rugby Tours and Events. She was voted onto the 2017 Women's Rugby World Cup team, while she is also a regular face at Seven's community engagement events. Additionally, that year she went home scoring Sports Person of the Year Supreme Award at the Caris Rugby Awards, the Sportswoman of the Year Award at the Bay of Plenty Sports Awards, and to crown 2018 as one of her most successful years in rugby, she won gold at the Commonwealth Games and topped it with a Black Fern Sevens Team World Cup win. Number 1. 2020 Olympic Games New Zealand Gold Medal Michaela Blyde was a part of New Zealand's gold medal winning side at the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. The Games took place in July 2021 after they had been previously postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was an incredible moment for Blyde and her teammates, as they became the first country to ever win back-to-back -back gold medals in the Olympic history of women's sevens rugby. Blyde was instrumental in the victory, scoring two tries in their first opening match against Kenya. They overwhelmed Kenya 29-7, signalling the team's intent to claim the gold. The Black Fern 7 side went undefeated throughout their Group A matches with 9 points. They advanced to the quarterfinals where they continued their winning streak. Blyde scored one try in their 36-0 win against Russia. They cruised to the semi-finals where they matched winners against Fiji in a grueling match that proceeded to extra time. Blyde scored in the first minute of their final match against France at the Tokyo Stadium. They went on to beat France 26-12 to secure Michaela Blyde and her 12 teammates Olympic gold medals each. Will Michaela Blyde continue with her impressive run of success? Will she get her third consecutive award at the 2021 World Rugby Women's Sevens Player of the Year Awards? Only time will tell. Well that is all we have for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it and you learned a lot. Let us know your favorite Michaela Blyde moments in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe.